I don't like working. I think that's a pretty common answer. I mean, even if you are following your passion, it's always gonna be work. I just wish I could have a way out. Like a phone that would do everything for me. So this phone does do a lot for me. What if it just had that magical touch? But that would be kind of like a double-edged sword. Or knife. And things may not turn out the way you thought it would. Kind of like it did to Faye and Eddie. Sorry, I should have totally introduced y'all. They're the characters in our new book, The Wish Carvers. These siblings that are busy working, well, that's Faye and Eddie. They work every day, but not because they're workaholics, but they need to buy the necessities. Food, clothes, paint. You know how it is. It'd be so exhausting. But on their way home on a Saturday, they found this carving knife. Can you read what it says? No worries, I'll read it for you. It's carved with me will come to be. This knife sounds very promising. The first thing they decide to carve is a wooden pot full of gold. The siblings are not messing around. That's a good start. They're not finished there because it actually worked. So, uh, let's start carving some things because daddy needs a new house. This is the cottage they woke up to. Yeah, they carved a new cottage, but with more money, more problems. Because now they had so much more extra work to do. But the problem was solved with another wish, which may not end up being good. Now that they carved a whole kingdom, well, now we have employees to help. Remember that double-edged sword we were talking about? Here's the flip side to it. We have all these guests wanting to visit the castle. And they're workers that are supposed to be cleaning up the castle? Well, they're too tired now. Do you think the siblings are gonna get used to their new lifestyle? Or is having anything you want just not cutting it? Personally, if you don't want the knife, I'll take it. Since they forgot about carving my house.